Well, hey guys, welcome to the Dreams Guy podcast. My name is John Thomas, and we are getting ready to do another dream. So glad you could join us for this episode. So I have with me Cohen Cupix. So Cohen, welcome. Hi. Yeah, Thank you. Glad you're here, man. <laughs> thanks yeah, thanks for, for taking me. some time to come in. <laughs> so you had a dream about how long ago did you have your dream? Uh, this was actually a very old dream. So I'd say this was back when I lived in Tennessee. So probably like 11, 12 years ago. All right. Uh, so it's pretty young when I had it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So tell me the dream. What, what did All you right. see? Well, so it started off and I was at, let me give you some knowledge here. I lived in a two story house. Um, so I was at the top of the stairs and all the lights were off in this house. Right. And, um, I was at the top of the stairs and looking down at like the downstairs area, all of the lights were on and it kind of seemed like there was like a party going on. Like I could hear like voices and whatnot and all the lights were on and I could see it. So naturally I was curious and I went down the stairs. Um, but when I got to the bottom, all of the lights like in that room that I was in turned off and there was just nobody in there and I couldn't hear any of the chatter anymore. Hmm. But if I looked to like one of the other rooms to my left or something, the lights were on and I could hear the chatter. I couldn't see anybody, but I could see that like there was people in there. I could just kind of tell. Uh -huh. And so then I started to go like into those rooms to try and figure it out. But this is kind of where it gets weird. I actually started flying instead of just walking into those mm -hmm. rooms. I was kind of like floating into them. <laughs> and then every time I would enter one of the rooms, the lights would turn back off and there would be nobody in the rooms. And I don't, I don't remember the dream too well, but I want to say like I could hear my older brother, Caleb. I couldn't see him, but I could like hear him. And I think he was like, I want to say he was trying to help me and he was turning the lights back on after like after me, but he wasn't in the room with me. So like I would be in the room, the light would be off, but the one behind me that I was just in, the lights would turn back on. And I want to say that he was doing that. And then so I would say the house layout was kind of like the downstairs area is like there's a stairs and then it kind of loops around. And so I walked all the way to the left and I looped around like a little bit. And I just kept going around and mm -hmm. obviously like the lights would turn back on after me. So I just kept going around in a circle probably about three times <laughs> before finally on the third time, um, the lights just weren't turning on behind me anymore. So I guess like my brother was like gone or something. Okay. And so all of the lights were off at this point. And the minute I had like that realization, like, oh, all of the lights are off now, I felt like almost like I was being chased by something. So like there was just this like presence that I wanted to get away from. So I went back around the house <laughs> one more time and I had like the feeling that if I went like upstairs that it would stop chasing me. So I went upstairs and when I turned around, keep in mind the lights are off, stair off, off, eh, off upstairs too. So the house is like completely dark. Um, when I turned around to look down the stairs to see what was chasing me, it was a lizard. It was a very large lizard. I don't know what type of lizard, probably something. I don't know, <laughs> but okay. it's a very large lizard. All right. And then that was the end and of the dream. And that was the end of the dream. Yeah, okay. I woke up after that. Yeah. Well, let me see how much of this I can remember. So you're in the house that mm -hmm. at the time you were living in, which was yes. a two-story house. And it starts, you're at the top of the stairs. All the lights are off upstairs. Mm -hmm. But downstairs, you can tell all the lights are on. You can hear people down there. And so you go down to figure out what's going on. So you walk down the stairs. And once you get into a room, the lights are off and there's nobody there. And you're trying to figure out like, wait, a second, there were just people here. Lights were on, but now they're off. And you can see in the next room, lights are on. You can hear people's voices. And so you go in there to figure out what's going on. As soon as you go in there, the lights turn off. And then the lights in the previous room turn on. And you know it was your brother, your older brother, Caleb, who was kind of coming behind you, trying to get the lights on for you. Mm -hmm. But he was always a moment too late. Yeah. Um, so you kept on and it just, you go around all the way around the different rooms, which you kind of go in a circle around the central staircase. Um, and then the kind of the, you said three times. Yeah. About three, about times, three times. Yeah. So you, you get around and then the the lights are not coming on anymore when you're leaving a room. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, you start feeling like there's something chasing you. So you go all the way around again and you have this realization, well, if I go upstairs, it can't get me. Yeah. And so you go upstairs, there's no lights on. So this is the first time you're not chasing the light. You see, you go upstairs just to get away from this thing. And you look back downstairs and you see this huge lizard yeah. thing. Reptile. <laughs> reptile. Yeah. Some, some type of reptile that, that was there. Like that. And then that's the end of the dream. Yep. Okay. Sums it up. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you, you've got a couple. You've got a couple things uh, about this dream. So one, the the house that you're living in. So this is talking something about your family life. What was going on in your family, in your life, in the home, at that period of time? Um, now you have this one: the lack of light, and then that sense of being chased at the end. Mm -hmm. That is obviously, this is not what God is saying that is going on, but this is something that the enemy is doing. So you're starting to recognize it's not a promise from God, but it's giving you information about what's happening and helping you see what the enemy is doing. And this sense of always trying to figure out what's going on and never being able to quite figure it out. Like there was something going on in the family at that period of time that you didn't know about. You <laughs> yeah. could tell that there was something and you kept on trying to figure out what it was that was going on and you kept on pursuing that, but you were never able to actually figure it out. But it wasn't just a natural issue. It wasn't something because the family was quite, you know, hiding it because it wasn't the family that was hiding it. It was something else. And you realized that this was actually the enemy trying to make you feel isolated like you were alone, like you were in the dark and you didn't have the same understanding that everybody else had. You couldn't quite get there. And, and that was an attack that the enemy was trying to bring at that period of time. I would say that that's probably very specific about that period of time, yeah. but not exclusive <laughs> to that period of time. That, that that's probably something you're going to have to watch the enemy trying to do to you. And whenever you feel that, realize that's probably the enemy yeah and get god's perspective on it interesting that's cool yeah, yeah. does that so make sense to you yes that does yeah right. any any questions um well maybe like what exactly does like a reptile mean because i know like yeah. snakes obviously they can sometimes mean like deception or whatever right and like if it was chasing me like obviously it wasn't a snake but it was like a reptile so i don't know if it was like one specific bad thing i guess yeah <laughs> I well i think it was a, it was a demonic creature mm. uh, of some kind so um yeah if, if it was a snake we would have thought more that it was just a deception yeah but the this thing it has it's it's a little bit more so it kind of feels like it's, it was actually a demonic entity hmm. that was attached to Interesting. that yeah huh. well okay also what does flying mean because i was like floating yes. through the rooms yeah Yes. Well, you, you were given spiritual power mm. to pursue your understanding of what's going on. So you, you weren't just doing this in your own strength and God was not leaving you alone in this. He was, he was there with you, even though it didn't feel like it or seem like it in the moment. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'd say that's pretty much all the questions I have. Awesome. So. <laughs> well, very good. Well, Hey, thanks for coming and yeah. sharing the dream thank you for having me yeah that was a fun one <laughs> it was awesome. yeah well guys thanks for joining us for this episode of the dreams guy podcast my name is john thomas and we will see you next week for another episode